Hello, N4H and H here. I'm mobile. Um, I haven't shot a video from my mobile before. Um, so what I have in the mobile is that rig there, which is a an old ICOM ID888H, I believe it is. Um, one of my two ICOMs I own. Um, that is a D-Star radio. That's why I bought it, just to play with D-Star. To be honest with you, I, I, I don't do that much anymore. Uh, here's the Yaesu FT891 with the matching FC50 tuner. And um, I wanted to show you a little something about the digital noise reduction on uh, the FT891. Just sitting here listening to these guys. I'm not driving right now, of course. Um, so I'm on disengage digital noise reduction with and turn the RF gain to normal. So right now, I, you see I have IPO turned on. On these low bands, I almost always run IPO. You, know, you press the function key, there's IPO. And um, so there we are, 60 meter band. I'm going to engage digital noise reduction. I want to show you something. The default setting, you know, it usually goes to is one. Uh, here's no digital noise reduction. I'm going to turn it back on again. Now I want to show you what I have found to be my favorite setting. You hear that water effect? You hear that almost sounds like water running behind him? Go up to a setting of 9. See how that watery effect disappears at 9? So that's, that's what I have found to be the best setting for that. Just and nice just stay do, with a setting of nine. Way, I, you know, it does a lot if you go much things, higher, it doesn't really help that much, and it darkens up the audio. And if you feel like the audio is a little bit dark, uh, press the width button and increase it. I've done that. It, instead of 2400, put it at 3200, and that'll restore some of the luster to the uh, to the audio you're listening to. So again, let me turn all that off. So there's like what it sounds like wallet, with you know, no like help. And then now I'll go digital uh, noise reduction. Off, Again, uh, 9 is what I found to be well, the best setting. Kind of It'll introduce what sounds like a little bit of an echo effect, but don't worry about that. It's, um, it is a, um, you know, to me it doesn't bother me at all, and it takes away that watery effect. Again, I'm going to put the width back on at 3200. Yeah, and the really final thing you can do, uh, I'm going to press the multi knob to get it back to where I can see the so, uh, signal meter, of, uh, is I'm going to turn the RF gain back to the left. Yeah, I'm originally from Nancy, now listen to that. that, that see, so, of course, it's not the like RF gain is the final piece in and, this. When working with so, digital noise uh, reduction, and, and yeah, now it's uh, almost like I'm listening to a repeater. So I hope some of you guys find that helpful. Uh, who own the FT891 and are wondering how to get the most out of the digital noise reduction um, combinations IPO RF gain to uh, present the digital signal processor with the least amount of noise in the first place. And then again, I found that a setting of nine on digital noise reduction is the uh, is the best setting. All right, hope you found it helpful. 73 from N4, H&H. &H.